The data migration tool is probably my favorite FileMaker 17 feature next to found set portals. It allows you to import all the data from all the tables from one FileMaker file into a clone using a one line command. It's actually not part of FileMaker 17, but a standalone command line driven executable Unix file. This is going to save you tons of time. Let me give you some examples. Let's imagine that you have a client who wants some new features and you've been programming it for months and you want to get the data from the current version into the new version. Well, normally you'd have to manually import all those different tables and match up all the fields or create some scripts to do that. This executable will allow you to go ahead and do this with one command line. It's extremely easy and very, very fast. It could also help you if you have a corrupt file. You can get a clone of one of your uncrashed versions of the file and import the current data into it. Both those scenarios are very common uh, and very good for this migration tool. So what we're going to do is demonstrate it. We have a file here we created from the starter files and put 101 records in it. We're going to go ahead and create a clone. So we'll just save a copy as, change the name slightly, clone no records, hit save, we can now close this file. You can see the clone right there. There's the migration tools, just a terminal application. You don't really launch it. You call it from inside terminal, which on the Macintosh you'll find inside the applications folder in utilities, and it's called terminal. Now you can get all kinds of terminal applications or emulators for Windows as well. It'll work just fine on Windows too. What you'll typically get is your username here followed by a dollar sign and what you want to do is type in this command or something similar to it and I'm going to go over. I'm going to paste it from the keyboard so I don't have to type it in. Now the first part is locating the migration tool. Now I've located it on the desktop right here so I'll go users, JMO, desktop, FM data migration. Then there's a space and I reference the path to the source. That's what SRC is for. You can see right here that I just have to specify where it is and I put them all on the desktop so they're very simple paths. But you can see there's a space right there and then we have the clone path. And you can see that right there, it's the same idea, it's right there. You might have different paths if they're, you know, the files are located in different various locations on your hard drive, but I want to make it very simple. And here's kind of the really the, the issue that most people have with this tool is if you're not familiar with using terminal and typing in these paths, like me, it's going to be a little difficult and a little overwhelming, but it's not that difficult once you figure it out, once you understand it. So we'll just hit return to make it run. And you see it gives us a summary. And you can see now there's a file called FM Data Migration, or I'm sorry, Contacts Migrate. We'll get to FM Data Migration Assistant later. There's a file I created right there. I'm going to open it up in FileMaker 17. And you can see it has all of our data in it. It just imported that fast, 101 records. Imagine with 30,000 records how fast it would be. It's amazing. So it's important to note that you can make any changes you want to the clone. I can take a copy of the file, make tons of changes, layouts, fields, tables, blah, blah, everything like that. And I can then clone it and it will import into it. It's not, it doesn't have to be a clone of the original exactly the same. It can be changed in any way you want. And it will work with any .fmp12 file. It's not just a FileMaker 17 thing. It, has, it can be any .fmp12. It does require the FileMaker developer subscription. Let me show you that on the FileMaker website. That's how they're distributing. You have to buy this $99 per year developer subscription. You'll see that it includes a test version of FileMaker server, pre-release software, uh, the FileMaker training series, the iOS app software. So it's a pretty good deal anyhow and they're going to add on to that the ability to get this migration tool. You're not necessarily going to get it just because you're an FBA member, a FileMaker Business Alliance member. Now if you're a, a little you know foreign to typing in paths like that and using terminal, I'm not familiar with it, I don't use it that often, then you might like this tool that comes from Productive Computing. So we'll get some of the stuff out of the way. And it's called the FM Data Migration Assistant. And you'll see what it does is it allows you to go ahead and add in as many files as you want, 
because the standard tool that we just ran from FileMaker only does one file at a time. And that's usually not a big deal because most solutions these days are one file. But if you have a multi-file solution, you can actually add in multiple files here. And the great thing is you don't have to know the paths. You just go in here and you drag in the original file. You drag in the clone. You put any kind of password information if needed and, and encryption keys. And you simply migrate the databases. It's that easy. And so that migration tool you'll find is inside the Productive Computing website. And I'll go to their record here. You'll see it's ProductiveComputing.com. And they'll have a video on how to use it and all that kind of stuff. And it's going to be absolutely free. So uh, kudos to you, Mark, uh, the president over there at Productive Computing. This is going to be a great tool for people who just really want to do it. You know, Maybe you do know how to type in those commands, but maybe you just want to save time. You just want to drag and drop, and it's a little bit easier that way.